What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Sweet Science Tube. Let's get to it. All right, man. So I just got a little. I want to do a little video because uh, it was something that I saw that was interesting to me. Jake Paul, he about to have a fight with Tommy Fury. Uh, he's going to have a fight against him tomorrow, and ahead of that fight, he um he did an interview with Max Kellerman on the show. Uh, what is it called? Um, uh, KJM. It's called KJM. And he did an interview and Max Kellum was basically just asking Jake Paul how did he feel about going into the fight that he about to have with Tommy Fury. But he started off by saying, you know, Jake, people been telling you that you need to fight, fight top competition and you need to face real boxers. And I know, you know, it brings pressure and this and that. And uh, how do you feel of going into this fight? I don't know if Max Kellum said it just like that. But he basically asking how, you know, how did he feel going into a fight with an actual boxer? Jake Powell responded by telling him that, you know, people always want him to fight top of competition and real boxers and stuff. And then he said, but their favorite fighters didn't even fight top of competition. And then I think he used Mike Tyson and Tank and Muhammad Ali for an example. He was like, go look at those guys. Go look at their first seven, eight fights. Go look at their first seven fights. Those guys didn't face top competition. Those guys were facing taxi drivers. You know, and he's right. He's right. You know, it's a concept that I had used about three weeks ago. I did a, I, I did a video about three weeks ago. And, and this is what I was talking about. This is what I was saying. Exactly what he's saying is what I was saying. So it leads me to believe, did this guy see my video? <laughs> you know, makes me think he saw my video. You know what I'm saying? Because he wasn't saying it at first. He didn't have that concept at first. His comeback, when people used to say stuff like that, his comeback was, I have tried. I have tried to fight a real boxer. They keep pulling out. That's what his comeback was. But now he's explaining how, but now he's basically saying, why do you guys expect me to do this when your, when your actual real boxers didn't even do this when they first started? When they first started, they were fighting bombs. They were fighting nobody. They were fighting taxi drivers, which is true. But here's a clip from what I uh, said three three weeks ago. Remember, he had this interview a day ago with Max Kellerman. But I made this video three weeks ago, and this is what I said. Here's the uh, clip. But it's like, why? Why would he get in there and fight elite level competition like that? Not even real boxers do that when they first started. Jake Paul got about six fights under his belts, bro. Are you serious? He got six fights under his belt. He shouldn't be in there facing elite competition. So people have to understand that. People want him to fight this e these elite competition type people. No. That's not even what real boxers do. Even your favorite boxer didn't do that. Go look at Canelo. His, go, how many fights Jake, Jake Paul got six fights? I think about six fights under his belt. Go look at Canelo first seven fights. And then go and, and tell me where was he facing top elite competition. I guarantee you he wasn't. I know he wasn't. I know, I know he wasn't. He was facing guys who were in a career they was one win, nine losses. When they fa faced him, though, it was they their, it was the debut, and then they went on to have one win and nine losses. <laughs> you know, he fought guys who were nobodies. He fought guys who were nobodies, and not only him, Mayweather too. Mayweather too. Yeah, I'm gonna take the top recent, the top, the most recent top boxers, and show you that even they fake uh, had uh, fought nobodies in when they first started boxing, when they first turned professional. They fought nobodies. Go, go, go! Look, if you think I'm like, go, go look at their first seven fights. They fought nobodies. So you heard what I was saying on that clip that I just shared. I was letting you know about how you know they need to ease up off him because even your favorite boxers didn't start out fighting top of competition that's what i was saying as well they didn't start out fighting top of competition they started out fighting nobodies their first six or seven fights or or even eight or nine fights they started out fighting nobodies so why do we expect jake paul to fight top of competition and I think Jake Paul may have seen my video. I, th I think he may have seen it. So you just saw the clip. 
of what you know a clip from from my video from three weeks ago actually from three weeks ago there's a clip from a video that i did three weeks ago about him now here's a clip not the actual clip but the sound i want to just take just take the sound here's an audio clip of what he said to Max Kellerman to his uh, his interview with Max Kellerman a day ago. Remember, my video was made three weeks ago. He just did this interview a day ago. Here it is. And you are in a tough spot. You got to make these big events, but you're just getting started. You don't match yourself with a world champion, right? You start slow. And when's he going to fight a professional boxer? Well, apparently now. You're fighting the heavyweight champion of the world's half brother, Tommy Fury. How are you feeling heading into the fight? I feel amazing, man. Prepare for this moment. I wanted this fight for so long now, and I'm um, excited to finally check off the checklist fighting a professional boxer because that has been the biggest criticism, right? And, you know, a lot of people have a lot to say, Max. I, I know they come to you, and I know we've kind of agreed on a, on a lot of things, but at the end of the day, take your favorite boxer. Maybe it's Mike Tyson. Maybe it's Floyd. Maybe it's Muhammad Ali. Maybe it's Gervonta Davis, you know, who's about to fight Ryan Garcia. Gervonta's eighth fight was up against a guy who was one and two. He was an MMA fighter. Right. So, you know, you look at Mike Tyson's seventh fight. It was up against a taxi driver. Terrible record. And I love those guys. It's not nothing against them. But what I'm doing is fighting an undefeated UK prospect his brother's the heavyweight champion of the world. He's been doing this since he was 10 years old. I've only been boxing for three years, so I'm challenging myself more and more than a lot of your favorite boxers ever did in their seventh fight. So what do you think? <laughs> do you think that he's seen my video? I mean, it, it was basically the same thing that I was saying. I mean, he said it a little different, but he basically using the same concept that I was using. You know? The reason why I say I think he's seen my videos is because I've never heard him use that as um, as a defense before. Now all of a sudden he he's using that as a defense. Well, this is the first time I ever hear him using it on talking. About, you know, he's talking to this talking about Max Kellerman. I mean, talking to Max Kellerman. But he never said that before. The most I've heard him say is when people bring it up, he I just usually hear him say, I tried, I tried, but they keep pulling out. This is comeback. Is he is I tried, but they but they keep pulling out. Well, those were his comebacks. But now his comeback is your favorite fighter didn't even start out like that. Your favorite fighter, you know, were fighting bums too, you know, when they were, you know, saying on a sixth fight or a seventh fight or their eighth fight. They were fighting taxi drivers as well. He had never said that before. So what do y'all think? Y'all think this dude to see my video? He need to get in he, he need to shout your boy out, huh? <laughs> I'm just playing, man. But I don't know. I just, I just, I wanted to make a video about it because I thought it was interesting that I saw him say that. I was like, wow. I think he, I think he do may have seen my video. <laughs> but that's all I got for y'all today, man. And um, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with another video. Holla, at your boy.